Welcome back, everyone. It's 814 right now. Hope your Thursday is off to a great start. We appreciate you starting the day with us. Should we take his car to Seattle or no? Good morning, everyone. So, um, today I'm going to Seattle to meet up my friend B from El Paso, Texas. I'm gonna do flower picking to give it to her. We have plenty of um, tulips right here. Look how pretty these flowers are. I'm gonna go give her different colors. I think this yellow looks so pretty. We're gonna go get our ideas done today. We are at Joint Tourism Board. Another one, are you good? Ah, thank you. I'm so worried all the time we drive this car because the last time we drove this, ride in El Paso we got um, what the flat tire or we got stalled oh the, battery. oh the battery died I think that was finally I kept on buying the batteries in it because it was the alternator huh and then I don't think after then I got the alternator Hey guys, so we're back home because Doug needs to use the bathroom before we head out to Seattle. Okay, we're back home because we don't have any appointment. I thought that we can just like walk in and get our IDs done, but um, in this office, or I think they don't implement a walk-in anymore. Here are the things that you need to do to renew your ID. Don't go to the office without any appointment because they're not gonna entertain you. Why is this so important? because this is essential to access our benefits. We can't go inside the base. Second, we can go to the commissary to do our grocery or go to exchange to do our little shopping. Third, we can't go to the gym if we don't have ID. We have free gym inside the base. And fourth, which is the most important, we can't access to healthcare without our ID. So how do we renew our ID? Well, don't go there without an appointment because they will not gonna entertain you. But anyway, so first of all, try to locate where is the renewal site. Normally it is inside the main post right next to the welcome center. You can go online, um, launch the uh, Rapids, um, DOD Rapids site. I'm gonna put the link down on the description box. Second, fill out form 1172-2 have it notarized and sign it by your sponsor so that way you can go anytime without your sponsor third is make an appointment after you make after you make an appointment they're gonna send you an email confirmation that your date of appointment will be on this day blah 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 da, da, da. well next go on the day of your appointment get there on time they're gonna give you a number and make sure to bring two forms of ID along with your expired ID. So you can bring your, your driver's license, passport, or resident card, or social security card, as long as it's government issued ID. That's it, it's so easy. Okay, I'm getting hungry and um, we're heading to Seattle. Baby, are you done? Okay, we're heading now to Seattle. Come along with us.
just like, hi. Yeah. <laughs> Say hi to everyone. Hi, girls. Yeah, I'm taking this all back. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Bye.